okay you guys what is good with you all today I'm just opening something up so happy monday i hope that you all have gotten a good start to your week to your day all of that good stuff so today is monday by the way <laughs> I'm gonna get used to this eventually. My name is Chanel. Welcome here to my Instagram page, my, my IGTV, my YouTube channel, wherever you're watching this. Um, I am a tarot reader. I also help support and facilitate women in connecting and reconnecting, I should say, with their wholeness, through their feminine, their divine feminine, energy connection and all of those wonderful things I also support others and just their spiritual path journey however it is that is being needed my name is outside being doing the most anyways <laughs> today is monday mondays are ruled by the moon so this is a very nurturing the moon rules cancer so it's very mothering very nurturing a very restful peaceful kind of day it our emotions are highlighted where it is you know we are feeling or not feeling about something a thing how it is that it is influencing what it is we think what it is we believe in, all of those things. This is also us tapping into our intuition. The moon also rules our roots, our family lineage, where we come from, you know? So those types of things may be active today or maybe a good thing to look into for ourselves if there's anything that's coming up and we can't really pinpoint or recognize where this is coming from within us, right? So it's also being that, I don't want to say that first connection to the divine, but that very watery flow aspect of nature of ourselves, that yin energy, that space of taking our time, going with the flow, being in the midst of things, being movable, you know, although cancer is a cardinal energy, which cardinal can to be mutable, it does what it needs to do in order to get the job done. It's not opposed to what they need, you know. So let's talk about this astrology a little bit. So today the moon is in Virgo. And with the moon in Virgo, we can probably find ourselves just being very critical of a thing. It, it's a good day to focus on the daily, day-to-day -day aspect, the mundane aspects of life. What it is that needs to be taken care of in order to have a successful day, you know, and a good day to tap in and look into our health, especially now with the with Mercury being in Sagittarius. Sagittarius can be a little excessive or overdoing of something. In order to feel satisfied, in order to feel, you know, good. <laughs> so it's in a, it, well, today it's going to be in an opposition to Neptune. So we may be seeing a little bit of where it is that we have been not paying attention to what needs to be taken care of in that coming to surface, that being illuminated so that we can begin to move forward and take the action from a, a, a self-care kind of space of taking care of ourselves, what it is that needs to be done, taking care of our lives, being very present with that, you know, just taking care of everything <laughs> that is needed in order to flow to move because mercury mercury virgo is mutable it's changeable you know so it is always trying to 
or willing to, I should say, suggest um, to what it is that needs to be corrected, moved out the way, released. So it is also going to be in a sextile with Venus. So this is kind of like this, this communication happening of, you know, really aligning to how we feel, what it is that we want, what we desire, what it is that we need, you know, feel fulfilled, also aligning to our values, um, to what it is that we see worthy of ourselves and of our life. And if we are in the space of living in a way that is going to support us in manifesting them. And so it is in a sextile to Uranus. So this would be supporting us in bringing the change, you know, making that internal shift, I should say, that, that it kind of flips that switch of knowing, like, okay, this is what I need to be doing. And I, I need to, if I don't value this, I need to begin. And if I do value this, then I need to align my outside life with my internal life so that these things can come together and my life can reflect a state of wholeness, a state of my being, you know, instead of what it is that we are being influenced by. Now, it is also having this 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 dance with mercury its ruler virgo's ruler and the sun so and this is in a sense this knowledge coming in that is going to be supporting us and moving towards our wants needs desires moving towards this family life moving towards this day-to-day -day life this this space of being able to be in this healthy state of being whether that is of mind body spirit or how it is that we feel you know and kind of shifting the perspective that is needed in order or getting into this perspective that's needed in order to in order to make whatever needs to happen happen you know and allowing our will to support us now this may not be coming easy if this is something that we have not already been thinking about but after this year with the way 2020 has been set up i can see that this is definitely something that has already been on the brain already been on the mind like you know i need to change my life how how do i go about this and today is a day of really supporting or really experiencing the happenings like things trigger the triggers will be coming to help you realign yourself with life right with what it is that's going on or needs to be going on for you so yeah that's pretty much all i really want to get into i don't want to dive too deep all into the astrology but those as far as today what we will be experiencing as far as any aspects to other planets let's see hmm. that's later on this evening as the night is coming to a close we will be again it, it it's a need to integrate the changes right so it's in an aspect to mars and mars is basically like the revealer the clearer you know but it's also the initiator it brings the movement the action that needs to be taken right so as, as the day goes we are understanding realizing seeing ourselves recognizing what it is that we desire and how it is that we are aligning with this as far as our values go seeing where we don't really recognize ourselves as worthy of having a thing simply by not doing something especially when it comes to not taking care of ourselves 
right? So this action uh, with Mars being in Aries of the self, you know, of the initiation, the starter is really asking to come in so it can help support and clear out what it is that is not going to allow us to be able to move forward with that, right? Because then there's the moon and this north node aspect coming into play that is like, okay, this is this these are my desires about my life in general. And how does that go hand in hand with what is destined for me at this time? in this year, in this space, in this phase that I'm going, that I am currently in, what am I building to, you know? And this is all about how it is that you're relating to your sense of self, your sense of wholeness, you know? Again, it stems back to your beliefs, how it is, where's your faith lie? Where's your trust? What, what are you not seeing? do your beliefs align with what it is that you really want to make happen in your life and you can say you can believe a thing but in reality your life is going to reflect what it is that you're actually believing what it is that you're actually holding on to so it's important to become aware of this and this is really what this day is bringing about for us is supporting us and cultivating the awareness that is needed in order to make the shift happen, come out of the fog, come out of this sense of this this lack of basal energy of thinking that it's something's just gonna happen when in reality when in reality we have to be the ones to take the action to make it happen. Right? So I'm gonna pull a couple of oracle cards. What guidance do you have for us? What would you like for us to know right now? As we move through this day of Monday, December 27th, December 7th, 2020. Sharing light with others. So the first card we got is the beloved. <laughs> this is interesting. The beloved speaks about seeing people for who they are, seeing yourself for who you are. It is, it's recognizing people for their spirit, for their soul, recognizing another for, for not what it is they have done, not... And not what it is that they have done, not what it is that you believe them to be or who it is that you think they are showing you, but seeing them as the sole being it is that they are, not romanticizing this idea of any type of relationship, not putting somebody, this is even not putting a person on a pedestal. You know, it is see yourself for who you are so that you can recognize that we are all out here living right we're all out here learning the you seeing a person from a state of judgment means that you are possibly really judging yourself as well and that's really easy to do with the moon being in virgo right because virgo got something to say about everything <laughs> virgo needs to make it make it known that they see where you are incorrect you know and it's like you don't have we unless somebody is doing something to harm someone something that is not of, of good i guess i could say to another then you know we really just have to allow people to be who they are and see that they too are learning that they too are growing you know and this is the this is the waning crescent moon. Why these cards are set up in this moon? So, <laughs> the waning crescent moon speaks about releasing. We are actually under a waning moon right now. I don't believe it's in a 
progressing. When it's the new moon, so we're still in the, we're about to be in the third quarter phase, maybe tomorrow, I guess. But the waning crescent moon speaks about releasing, letting go, you know. It's also a lot about surrendering to just whatever it is that's happening. What What is it that you need to do? <laughs> Where does the healing need to take place as well? Because, and this is a, more so about being going within. It's, it's not ever really about what's out there, right? Because what's out there is merely just a reflection. It's just showing you what the narrative that's happening within yourself, right? So what is it that needs to be released? What do you need to surrender to? What do you need to sacrifice in order to be in the space of the beloved, to have the loving life it is that you really need? It's almost as if it's there is a need to, to check yourself right to go within and really see what what's really happening here why if this has to do with relationships why why what's going on in my relationships and or what's going on with my relationship with myself what is it that needs to be released sometimes it's not the relationship that needs to really be released sometimes it's something within you that needs to be released and i don't think that's something that we live in right now in this society where it's like, oh, well, it's not working or they did X, Y, and Z. Being in this really space is victim mindset. And it's like, no, <laughs> what do you need to change? What, what do you, where is this going with you? Let's see. Yeah, so we got the cougar, and the cougar says you can do it. The cougar is a very nurturing energy. It's very protective, very motherly, right? So maybe you take some time to mother yourself today. The, today is ruled by the moon. Nurture yourself, nourish yourself, love on yourself, you know, take care of yourself, love yourself, you know, for who you are. Don't act the same, in the same breath of not judging others. See where it is that you are judging yourself. What beliefs have you against you, right? Against what it is that you want. You can't be holding on to beliefs that you want something. You are, if you want something and you're still at this place where you are believing something that you've grown up with that doesn't look like what you want, you need to let that go that's not serving you. You have to like move forward and it's a process. Okay, <laughs> oh wow. So you got the tower, the change is coming, a change whether you recognize this or not, it's about to happen. A shift is, something's coming down. Whether you're ready for it or not, it's time to release it. And then we got the stork, stork, Ooh, stork. So this may be about the children. This may be about your home life. You know, this may be about you needing to kind of get your head out of the clouds because this is a seven of cups, right? So this is about um, having these fantastical ideas about something, again, about romanticizing the thing. Right, and not really seeing something for who or what uh, it truly is, and not allowing it to tr not allowing the light that is present to really be shining for you, right? So, but it, the change that's happening is going to be a good change. Nothing, don't let the fear take place. Maybe somebody's finding out they're pregnant today, you know, maybe you may be moving. That may be the change. Or perhaps you are just moving in the way that you have been. You are changing the way it is that you've been moving, right? So that you can better align your life with what it is that you truly want, who it is that you truly are, and everything it is that you truly deserve. So 
you guys. I hope that this was helpful. So let me know, you know, and if you are looking to get a reading, I have 33% off all my readings right now at this time. You can just click the link in my bio and click the tab that says readings and you'll find everything there. Use the code Glad Tidings. I hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Happy Moon Day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>